so today I want to talk about the realities of grief and grief doesn't have to be around death or bereavement it can be around the loss of an important relationship it can be around the loss of your dreams it can be anything that is a significant loss to you a job a home anything it's is you go through the same grieving process and there's a great model um the kubler ross model um which incorporates stages of grief but that's not what i want to talk about today it's something i might cover um and obviously i'm talking about this because this is what i'm experiencing right now so it's something that i can use my personal situation up on but also you'll know what i'm feeling you'll know you've you're experiencing grief either right now or you've experienced it in the not too distant past or and in lots of different ways as well like i said it, you may have lost someone you love to a death or you may have you may be grieving over a lost relationship or you may be grieving over the lost dreams and i know when me and my ex split up there was a lot of that grief around what i thought our relationship was going to be and all the things that we were going to do together and so there was a lot of loss around that and obviously now my dad has passed it's all that grief around just him as a person but i wanted to share the reality of it today because i thought i wasn't doing too bad obviously i shared my video yesterday and i'm 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 doing okay. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm far from okay as in I feel it and I I was emotional this morning. I was crying and I'm really struggling to feel majorly inspired, but I'm I'm coping or I thought I was coping. But the reality is that it gets you sometimes when you least expect it and I wanted to share this because you're not doing anything wrong and what happened to me today was, like I said, I, th I thought I've been doing okay. Um, I've, I've, I've cried when I've needed to cry. I've laughed. I've remembered, I'm remembering all the wonderful things about him. I'm loving him. And I thought I was, I thought it was okay. I, I'm not able to do much more than those things. All my energy is going on, on that. And I feel quite drained as a result of it. However... I thought I was doing not too bad. And today I just lost it at a stranger. <laughs> and that's okay. That's part of it because you're working so hard to not to pretend that you're okay. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not pretending that I'm okay. But nor am I staying in bed all day. I've got my makeup on. I've done my hair. I'm dressed. Because... Life does go on and my dad would want that from me. He would want me to live. He wants me to be happy. And so I'm doing this for him. I'm, I'm living for him, but I'm not thriving and I'm, I'm, I'm getting through. Um, and like I say, I thought I was bubbling along okay. I was crying when I needed to, laughing, doing all, doing all the, what I felt was right and I, and I was feeling okay about everything. But yeah somebody touched a nerve today it wasn't anything to do with my dad it was just i didn't like the way they were talking to me and i couldn't cope with it and i didn't get angry at them or anything i just put the phone down on them and that's it just caught me by surprise and i wanted to share it because you might have those moments yourself where it just comes out the blue it might be something really small really they don't wouldn't bother you at all normally and then all of a sudden it becomes a really big thing and you can't cope with it. And I just wanted to share that story to, so that you know that that's okay, actually. That's quite normal. It's all part of the process. And I can laugh about it now because I can see what it was and that it was necessary and it's okay. Um, but it just caught me totally off guard because, like I say, I was quite proud of myself for how I was, um, how I was doing. And I wasn't expecting it and um yeah but that's normal and i'm like i say i'm okay about it it's it happened um it wasn't anything major i'm sure i'm sure the person that i put the phone down on isn't gonna lose any sleep over it 
but it just literally caught me by surprise it came out of nowhere and it's someone who's not related it wasn't even anything i've had lots of things that have gone on um with regards to my dad trying to sort out everything and i've not lost to anyone in those situations and this was nothing to do with it it was just completely and i think that's how it goes it's like we let our guard down a little bit and it creeps in at those times when it's nothing to do with what you're really upset about it's something completely different and you might find that you might find that you get angry because someone leaves a sock on the landing it's nothing to do with what you're really mad about but for some reason that just totally tips you over the edge and like i say it's okay that's part of the process and that's why i'm sharing this that's why i'm trying to be as raw and as open as i can because Grief is something we don't necessarily talk about very much and it actually it's a very normal part of our lives and I would kind of want to kind of would break down those barriers a little bit and have those conversations and say that it is it's okay it's okay to to get mad at stupid things and it's okay to cry and it's okay to be sad and it's okay to be happy as well it, it's letting go of that guilt and actually just acknowledging that whatever you're feeling is is fine it's perfectly okay it's don't ever beat yourself up over your feelings they're the one thing that that are your indicator of where you are um and so that's why i'm sharing this i'm certainly not sharing it because i want you to know the ins and outs because i don't i'm just sharing things as they come along because i think someone might need to hear that someone might be going through something you may have separated from the narc and even though you know that you don't want to be with that person anymore and you're quite relieved in a lot of respects that the relationship is over you're still grieving and it's still okay to grieve it's still okay to grieve for the fact that you wanted that relationship to be something that it never was going to be and it's okay to grieve for the person that you thought they were it's okay to grieve for the months or years or however long that you were with them that's okay and that's why i want to share this and talk about it because grief happens and we need to know how to deal with it because it takes time it's a big part of our lives and it can really it can trip you up massively and it can become really problematic if you don't deal with it so i hope so i hope that someone found this useful um maybe it's cathartic to me who knows but uh i just thought i would share what happened for me in the hope that maybe it would help someone who might be going through it so you take care everyone and i will see you soon take care bye, -bye.